Comebacks are instances where the shop must correct a vehicle complaint thought to have been fixed on a previous service visit and to do this at no charge to the customer. The program provides the means to process these instances through the symptoms window and also track their impact on your business. To define an order as a comeback, start an order for that customer and go to the order screen. If you don't yet have your symptoms set up to pop up automatically on new orders, click on the symptoms button. Select the appropriate symptom from the list for this repair issue or enter a new symptom as needed. Double clicking it fills in the data we need. Add any additional comments as required. This might help your technician. When you check the box labeled Comeback, the invoice number field becomes available. This is where you enter the previous invoice number where the original repair was thought to have cured the vehicle complaint. Enter the previous invoice number now to link it to this invoice. Click on Done. The Comeback status has been tagged to this order. Press Escape to go to the Work in Progress screen. Right click on this order or select Detail and change the status to be Comeback. This provides everyone looking at the Work in Progress screen with a visual clue that this order has a different priority from all the others. The program includes a date rangeable Comeback report that will include this incident once the Make Good invoice is posted. This report relies on that original invoice number being entered on the symptom screen to establish the relationship and tell the story. The report includes all of the invoices with a comeback flag that's been set, original invoice numbers, and technician names for the date range selected. Once this condition is corrected, convert it to an invoice. A few things will likely be changed in these cases. If you're set up to pay commissions, double click on each one and check the no commission boxes. You likely do not want shop supplies or hazmat on this order. Click on Options and uncheck each of them if applied. We suggest these changes because when we get to Applied Payments, it's going to be billed to an internal warranty or comeback account used for these situations. By using warranty or some other internal account to quote-unquote pay the invoice, the impact on business is recorded more accurately. This approach also supports not negatively impacting your average RO values as using a $0 invoice would.